want to know when you yeah. use are the two biggest names in the division i want to see it again yeah. i want to yeah. see it again now and i want to see it with no dehydration yeah. Yeah. Mate, all the respect in the world to you. Get a future. The future is there. And I'm going to watch you all the way. I'm going to show the best. And those are the encouraging words of Conor McGregor as he consoles Ryan Garcia. <clears throat> he tells him that, hey, um, you're the future in the division. He has 1 0 on you. Um, I want to see a rematch. With no rehydration clause. <laughs> um, let me counterpunch. Uh, first off, uh, that was um, heroic, admirable of Conor McGregor to give the uh, defeated fighter some encouragement. Because, you know, Ryan, if there's any truth to that mental health uh, issue that he had, this would bother him. But he took it rather, you know, outwardly well. Now, him saying that he wanted a rematch, okay? Let me first of all say that Ryan, if Ryan wasn't encouraged to have a rematch, hopefully that gave him encouragement. But I will say he didn't ask for one. And that, that bothered me. You know what I mean? Because it just showed you that like you were defeated. That's it. Um, I'm done. See you guys later. In Jesus name, I'm out. You know, like, and it's like, okay, well, that's cool, but that's just like too final. That's too conclusive, you know, to just say those words and leave without any bounce back. Um, let's go, let's take, for example, Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce lost for the first time last week End right? And what did he say? You know, Hey, I'm disappointed. I'm sorry. I'm gutted, but Hey, I'll be back. You know what I mean? Now we're talking about a rematch. Well, that wasn't Ryan at all. Maybe it was just shock. Maybe it was just, you know, inexperience from losing. You know, it, it may been it may have been those things. But uh I think that it should have been Ryan that encouraged the rematch, but I hope, you know, the encouragement from Conor McGregor got him pumped up, like, yo, this is Conor McGregor. He's lost, you know, and uh, he's bounced back and and I'll say this about someone like Conor McGregor and someone like Ryan Garcia. They're on two different platforms, for one. One UFC, the other one boxing. Well, in UFC, losses don't mean what they mean in boxing. If we can close that gap and understand that you got to have win winners and losers, that means we'll have more people fighting each other, so we'll have more winners and we'll have more losers. And then we'll have more guys that will take losses because they're fighting the best guys. The fight we seen yesterday is uncanny and it's not common in boxing. Okay? Counterpunch. I think what we should see is more of that. And what Connor's saying, like, hey, let, you know, I've taken losses. You're one and oh with that fighter. And then that's a good point. You know, stop looking at your record overall and start looking at your record per person. You've beaten everyone else. So that's a good thing. I like how you narrow it down because a lot of people look at that one loss is to affect their whole career and it shouldn't be that way and you shouldn't have that type of mindset at all, okay? Because at the end of the day, some you're going to have losers and you're going to have winners, okay? This is the sport that we love, that we also hate so much, right? So um, I think that that was... Um, good wording from Conor McGregor, you know, and that was the Conor that wasn't like wasted or wasn't, you know what I mean? He, he was there. And a lot of times people are sent for, to other people for encouragement because you don't know what words that will give you comfort or ease, or that will be breakthroughs for you in your life, you know? So, um, but yeah, uh, the last thing is without the rehydration clause. Okay. Well, uh, if you're not going to, I, if he's not going to give him a rehydration clause, then maybe Ryan, because he's not going to give him that. I mean, if they fight, fought at 135, that won't happen. Yes, he uh, he did, in fact, agree to everything. He got hit with a body shot. He went down. But then, you know, so did Mario, Mario Barrios. 
okay? Mario went down too. You know what I mean? I don't think it was that. I don't. I think that punch was that punch and that punch only, <laughs> right? So they had to come in at the same weight, right? So uh, the rehydration stipulation, you know, was the only uh, factor that stuck out. Now, what Ryan could do, Ryan could go to 140, get the hell out of 135, get the Hades out of there because at the end of the day, 130, 135 is not the ideal weight for him anymore. I don't think it's him for him. I don't think it's for Haney. And it, a lot of fighters don't have no business fighting at certain weight classes, but they're still there. And I think Ryan's one of them. And Ryan should be at 140. He should campaign at 140 and take on some of the best guys there if he's going to prolong his career, if he just won't be this fluke that claimed to be the best until he went up against one of the guys that claimed to also be the best and he loses and then that's it. Because the, as of right now, that's what it seems like. So if he wants to fight Javante Tank Davis later on, he needs to go make his own legacy and then come back to that moment at a different weight class because Tank's not going to stay at 135. Okay. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Conor McGregor giving encouraging words to Ryan Garcia. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.